happy 2019 reject nation so for this specific video you see at our patreon uh the lowest reward tier is our weekly q a's where we basically throughout the week we take a question from a patron and then we do a full video response to it uncut raw and the last question we did for the month of december was from our very first patron ever named house heisenberg and uh for the longest time and saying you know we'll we'll put our q a's uh that we'll, we'll choose one once a month to put up on youtube and I, I i never do that so i decided we'll start the new year off properly by honoring that statement with house heisenberg's i like this one they're normally not this long it's a pretty long one but yeah i just thought it'd be fun to share kick off the year with honoring our very first patron ever house heisenberg enjoy guys How's Heisenberg? I almost rolled that R just for you, buddy. Q and A. How's Heisenberg? You're so much. I, the thing is, I remember in like third grade or something <laughs> when you first committed to learning to roll your R's, and I just listened to you walk around going. <laughs> Do you remember? It's <laughs> gonna say we're gonna. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> are we gonna do that? Hey -oh. Hey -oh. Uh, House Heisenberg asks, though, are there any troll or mean spirited comments that you have received either on YouTube or any social media that actually made you laugh your ass off? I've seen various YouTubers or even celebrities, Kimmel Mean Tweets, share some hilarious ones and wanted to know if you had any. G, you got any uh, mean tweets? I mean, you you rile people up on the Twitter sometimes. My favorite one uh, that we we get <laughs> is uh, when we're called. I don't know any specific like. I'm gonna start saving them now because of this question. <laughs> the the one I the frequent ones that are, are funny are the. Uh... You know, what, let's just start this one now. Yeah. <laughs> let's go on YouTube and let's dig through the comments. Uh, there's several reoccurring ones that are f f funny. Eh, not funny, but amusing mm -hmm. to me. Um, fake reaction is, is yeah. a fun one. It's funny because a reaction is never... It, it seems like a reaction is hard to... Is, some people just... You, you either react too much... Or you Not don't enough. react the way they want you to. <laughs> yeah, <is> that too? <laughs> that's yeah. the fun. That's the funny, funny one to me. Like uh, I remember on the Hellboy one, <laughs> some, there was some comment that was like, "I hate that you like everything." <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "That's funny because I replied back to this person. I said something like smartassy. Like uh, that's funny because whenever I don't like something." Apparently, I upset people just as much, <laughs> you know, because it's like that comment is so wildly incorrect. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I know I don't like everything, so I've had to do videos about how when I don't, don't like, like something, something, and everybody thinks I, you hate it. Right? Yeah, <laughs> terribly, that goes down. Yeah, What's, every one opinion speaks for your entire mindset. I've learned from the yeah, you're only as good as your last opinion. <laughs> I've heard, I've had similar ones on like horror videos where they're like, you know. You guys are scared of everything. I'm like, well, that's the fucking point. Yeah. What point is the trailers? They're putting jump scares for you to get cringy at. You know? Well, people don't... I mean, the way I at least approach certain reaction, The way I approach reaction videos in general is... I'm like, especially with... Let's just talk about trailers for a second. Like, if I see a trailer in the theater, I'm a very... I'm a good viewer. <laughs> I'm an appropriate viewer. I don't uh I don't try to make too much noise. I don't try to like even when I'm watching the actual movie, I, I tr like every once in a while there's something in a movie that'll really get me to really react. Yeah. Uh you know, like upgrade. I remember watching that and like flipping Whoa! out the fight scene in the trailer was how I responded <laughs> to the like same moment in the 70% of that movie. <laughs> and I remember, I remember even watching uh, Logan, and uh, when when Logan injects himself, he's running into the, in the forest. I remember I ch I cheered. No one cheered in the movie but me. Except, <laughs> but I remember I go, Whoa! I was so excited, <laughs> you know. Uh, but I, I do my best to 
I, the thing is, I feel like a lot of us, we, we contain ourselves when we watch them. And then the, the, the cool thing about the, a reaction video is it's the, God damn it, Todd! You pick, like, the, the one, mo like, you've been chilling this whole time, and then we sit down to read. <laughs> Maybe it's something about the energy. Maybe they're like, oh, the energy's all in this room. I'll do something, too. <laughs> um, the, uh, what were we talking about? The, something about people not liking me? Uh, <laughs> you know, comments and, and... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing with how I approach reactions is, is it's like... Uh, I, I use it as the, the time to let out how I'm feeling, mm -hmm. what I am normally being polite and reserving. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it's the freeze. Yeah. You, you let down the uh, the checker that, that you know, fields all those little reactions and suppresses them. Like, when I watch a horror movie in the theaters, I, I try not to... Weirdly, when I'm watching a movie, I'm trying not to get scared. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm like... I don't want to be scared. I don't want someone like the, like, like the person next to me to be like, you fucking jumped. What a bitch. <laughs> yeah, what a you know? bitch. You know? But uh, reaction is like, it's like a comment in real life. Yeah. <laughs> like, let it out, you know? Uh, so, yeah. It's appropriate there. Uh, you know, people, when they judge your facial expressions, I, I find that funny. I, I always. Like, I, I, had, I haven't. I, I, just, I finally watched the Us trailer today. <laughs> and, um, and I saw, like, like John's comments on the Us trailer are so funny because some of them are like, like, oh, this is the best reaction, and then other people are like, what's wrong with your face? <laughs> yeah, man, I, I was, I thought it was a good reaction because it got a lot of reactions out of yeah. it, and then there were certain people who came like, in and were seriously overdoing it, man. Yeah, you're moving your face too much, all right? It's that scary, all right? And I'm like, it's like, yeah, we get it, scary, not. That that's what I mean. It's like I'm like, what do you want, guys? It's yeah. my reaction. <laughs> I love uh, I love I, whenever there's a woman in a video. Sorry, do you want to elaborate on that? Well, that that video. Anytime I do a solo video, inevitably there's a lot of comments about like, where's Greg? And uh, and every now and again, somebody will phrase that in a way I find really amusing. And somebody, <laughs> somebody, I can't remember what they said on the uh, us video, but it was something about like Greg leaves, you know, like for a couple hours. John sneaks into the apartment, sets up camp, like <laughs> starts living there and starts recording videos. And like, I don't know, things like that, but like the, the whimsical, like, it, they, it's so weird to just see John in a video. It must mean something strange is happening. Like, that's a frequent comment I like. I like, uh, I like, uh, what do you call it? When people call us, if there's a girl in a video and people are like, sell out you're just you have a girl here only to get views yeah there you i'm go. like wait a minute let's 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 uh <laughs> let's examine this comment for a second this uh, this idea of someone doing a video to get views and doing something different to get wait a second like, isn't isn't the point of a video ultimately to yeah, garner so, some views <laughs> like even if you as just like a random person with nothing on your channel puts up a video i think you probably want some views. i kind of get it if there's a product placement i kind of get it yeah. because you're doing a product placement and when you're doing a product placement you're obviously earning money from it so I like there's a whole argument to be made there that where I'm like, well, guys, it's not like fucking YouTube is paying us thousands of dollars per video or something like that. And not like the product list is paying us even like a quarter of a thousand dollars. You know? yeah. Like it, it's it the, the, the product placements like there's a whole you, I don't really feel like I need to explain it here, especially. On I think you know, it's like it's a product placement, it's a product placement, you know, and, and it helps that, that all goes towards helping us keep doing what we're doing, you know. But the the idea of you do it just for views, I'm like, so does every YouTube video. <laughs> the platform encourages that. That's the whole point is to who whoever does a video on YouTube and goes, I was hoping I got no views on this video. <laughs> like it makes it just makes no sense. Yeah, to I want to yeah. start a really underground YouTube channel where I take a video down as soon as it yeah. gets above five views. People will be like, "You brought a girl here just for views, and then if you don't bring a girl for a week, where are the girls? Where at? are the girls? <laughs> I mean, yeah, there's a sort of contrarian. You just can't please everybody. Yeah, there's no medium for everybody. Yeah. Well, and there's also like I, I do. 
sometimes people will comment with things that I'm like, oh yeah, that's a good point. I should probably like maintain my hair better <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> like sometimes people will show up and then you'll look at the video and be like, oh yeah, I see what you're saying. <laughs> Thanks for the tip. <laughs> well, I, I've been noticing a couple of people commenting lately on um, what do you call it? Like my my beanie. Yeah. Like my Daredevil and Punisher one. Because the thing is, I don't like this. Like this beanie is the right size. This this Breaking Bad one. It's perfect for but your cranium. The the, the 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 Daredevil one that you inverted into Punisher one is so big, and I don't like this look where it's like popping so much out of the top of my head. And so I I I flip it, and for some reason it bothers the fuck out of a couple <laughs> people, which makes me go, well now I'm just gonna keep doing it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Because I'm not a slave to someone's hatred over something very minute. <laughs> so, and if it upsets you that... because I, and I, I talked to John <laughs> about it just yesterday. Uh, like, some, ever, on the car ride back from Colorado, I, I was just pondering, going, who are these people that... Leave? Like, not even like a hatred kind of ponder, like I'm annoyed. Mm -hmm. Just a very, like, a very fascinated, curious, pondering thing of... Um, like, who are the people that comment on, like, leave hate? I, I, I don't think one time I've stumbled across any video in my life and been like, fuck this guy. Blah, 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 blah. And, uh, I gotta let him know yeah. how shitty he is so that he never makes another video. <laughs> and I know that if there's someone who's, who's going to say that about to one of our videos or something... They, oh, I know we're not exclusive to just us. I know they probably hate on other people's videos. And then it makes me go, who, who are these people? How lonely must someone be to get out that level of annoyance or hatred on a strength? Like, it just makes no sense. It honestly makes no sense to me. Mm -hmm. And like, and so, uh, like, this, these people must be very lonely human beings. And looking at them in that perspective, because I'm like, I, the people that I know that are uh, people who are not lonely and good-hearted people never waste a minute, a second to just leave a bunch of hatred on. So, I never, you know? I never catch a, a friend of mine being like, "Hold, hold on a sec, I got to tell this YouTuber yeah. how much I hate them." <laughs> Especially for what we do, you know? Well, yeah, because like, I mean, like, it's what, if like Logan Paul's fucking recording a dead, hung body and making fun, I'm like. You or know, if, I, I kind of get that. <laughs> or if we, or even, I mean, not that it makes it right, but even if we were out here, like, espousing political opinions and discourse, like, all the time, you know, like, really riling up hot button issues or something, like, I might understand it better. But it's like, we're checking out movie trailers. Like, <laughs> yeah. Watch and try not to laugh yeah. videos. And, like, I don't know, checking out TV. It's, oh, man. You know, speaking yeah, of political, I like, I love when people, uh, we could do a 12 minute video and then we could, we could make a little crack about Trump. And then there's guaranteed someone who's like, unsub, I came to this channel for movie talk, not to not, not to become a political channel. I'm like, we made one slight crack. We referenced. <laughs> Even out of 12 minutes, if we spend a minute riffing on Trump. <laughs> That doesn't mean we're a political. We don't evolve into the Young Turks wannabe just because of that, you know? Yeah, right. I, I don't know. And then that that borders into that other whole argument about, like, you know, ah, oh, you know, you shouldn't even be talking about this shit. Like, I, I'm always fascinated that there seems to be, like, a Trump patrol or something like that yeah. to catch. Like, there, you, you never throw one out and it doesn't get caught by somebody. <laughs> so, yeah, it's like, uh, I, I think a lot of, um, I think a lot of, like, especially troll hate comment, it, the ones that surprise me the, the ones that like like i could be kind of understanding if you're so mad and you're watching the video then you leave a comment on that video you're watching because you have the the second to do it but when you go to my twitter <laughs> or you go to my facebook or instagram page just because you did not like something in a video and you have to go out of your way mm -hmm. to go to a separate application or website to send me your personal fucking hatred opinion. Oh man, the amount you, of... You have no life. <laughs> like, that's plain and simple. You got nothing else better to do. The... And you are lonely and sad. I, there's no other definition I could possibly apply to you for that moment. 
because I did not love Aquaman to the degree oh, you want me to, you know, some of the shit like uh, that. We get yeah. some, we get some in our Facebook too, because people will will take to Facebook and write you like whole diet, diet, goddamn mess. Yeah. They'll write you like like paragraphs, and they'll and jump. Just like, wow, how sad are you? And they'll jump on. Like we did a Captain Marvel video just recently, and somebody jumped on and was like, "All you guys do is talk about fucking Marvel. One, not everything is about fucking Marvel, and two, you guys, all you do is shit on." DC and th and oh he skipped two and then and just went straight to three and I, and it was one of those things where I was like is, of course this is about Marvel it's Captain Marvel of course <laughs> this is about Marvel <laughs> like like the, even the low lapses in logic become so ridiculous and, and it's clear that people are just mad because the second you respond the tone changes like yeah. and if you were if you're uh, calm enough that and this i learned this in social media is like people say all kinds of terrible things and if you respond in a way that suggests that you're not going to just take that but you're also not going to be a dick about it either yeah people will open right up and oh, be yeah. like oh i'm so sorry you know i just you know i just really wish that this and yeah that. and I've, like i've seen it I've, I've personally experienced it firsthand with like some guy's a dick i reply to them with a lot of logic yeah, and they're like, oh, "I'm sorry." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm right. like, "Whoa, <laughs> that's like, that's even weirder to me." Well, that's one of those things too. Is I think a lot of people uh, do get lonely and and do kind of want a way to get those feelings out. But also, I, I think people just don't think. I think there's a weird aspect of assuming that people won't read them and that it doesn't matter. Because, yeah, like, once you break the wall and you start interacting, things change really fast. Well, the the issue is the issue that they have is 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 so much deeper than what we did to actually cause it's there's something so much deeper rooted than what we did or said yeah. that caused that response it, it's it, it is you know it's like I, i've heard there's like i was listening to tony robbins audio recently and he was talking about like this the, like these six human needs yeah. and oftentimes there's this thing he, he defines as called a crazy eight where if you lash out in anger um, a lot of times that's that's fulfilling this need for significance or need for certainty or whatever. And it, 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 the bottom line, I can go on a whole conversation about it. Um, it's it's not, I just, I, I've, from taking enough space away from comments, <laughs> I've been able to go, this isn't me, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like, there, there's something so much deeper seated and this person would honestly probably not treat me this way in person or over a telephone even mm -hmm. you know <laughs> like, if they were actually interacting with me if yeah. there wasn't so much between us and if they weren't breaking down like a singular moment yeah. out of my life that's frozen you know? i know this because man i a phone call or in-person argument with greg <laughs> can be wildly different than a text argument with Craig. <laughs> like, <I> like, <laughs> <laughs> because when i'm texting and if i'm in a text argument I, I can, I, that's that, like, I, 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 that's like one of my biggest faults that I've gotten better at for sure, but I still notice I'll be like, oh, fuck it. I got to like, oh, like, oh, wait, carry it away. I'm a total dick right now. Gotta go back and delete that. Hey, look, there's a new comment here. I like John. Greg, not so much. Oh, John no. should do videos alone without Greg. Who agrees? Ouch. <laughs> that sucks. That's not. Not, oh, that's the other thing too. Is that everybody? Everybody thinks you're stoned all the time. That's a comment yeah. that comes in constantly. No matter what you're doing, no matter what the video is, everybody yeah. always thinks that you're stoned. And it's hard to take. Like reading that, like my initial reaction is like, oh, that's a bummer. That hurts my feelings. <laughs> Yeah. But then I know John will also get the same comments about him. Yeah. Yeah. And, it, and, and, yeah. and, and the second I start to feel bad, I'm like, there are some people who watch this channel who hate me just as much. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or who yeah, taps there, and, There's going to be people who like hate John and prefer me. There's going to be people who don't like me but prefer John. That's just the way it goes. You know? Yeah, and then we've crossed that bridge a long time ago. The other, <laughs> and, I, and I think like the, John pointed out something funny to me. It's something so true. Uh, as a guest, I bring on often, Cat Alvarado, and and uh, we did this Bill Burr reaction. And if there's anyone who oh, I love, Cat because Cat's always honest, no matter what goes down. She's a very honest person, and a lot of people love her. Would love her for that. Yeah. And and if it's a video where her opinion is in it's unison not. with the majority, then she's a okay. And everyone loves her. Bring her back. She's hot. She's funny. Whatever. But then when she doesn't, 
Oh, don't bring her back. Never. I almost unsubbed. Greg. No, people and get serious. They talk to you like Greg. Never. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I got an Instagram message about it. And and there was, uh, and I'm never going to stop reading Cat on. I love her. Uh, she's she's yeah. amazing. It's amazing to have. I need a little bit of that controversy. So uh, there's this Bill Burr video where Cat had a difference of, uh, of opinion uh, about the Bill Burr stand up. And she wasn't even hating on it. She was just talking about the times and how it was standing shame, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. And of course, everyone reacts to her. Uh, not, not everyone, but a lot of people did react to her in, in a very like negative way. And you, say, you summed it up perfectly about like it's... I've, I've never seen so many people behave so oversensitively while accusing other people of being so oversensitive. <laughs> yeah, like, that's basically the it. The second, and it's weird because like stand-up comedy in particular breeds this argument so hard where people come in and be like, oh, these fucking oversensitive snowflakes are killing my favorite art form. And I'm like, hey, all the comedy still exists and you sound ridiculous. Right? Yeah. You sound so much. And the people who agree with Kat in that comment thread are usually just like, I don't know. I mean, if you watch the video, she she says it's not a bad joke. <laughs> well, yeah, most people click off before they uh, before they hear the whole whole thing out. Yeah, it's... like someone commented on our Stardust app for Bumblebee, mm -hmm. going, uh, "Dude, I watched your video. You said you didn't like it." What? And then I watched the video, the Bumblebee review, and in the first thirty seconds, we're being sarcastic. Yeah, <laughs> we're being like just so obviously sarcastic, and I'm like, "You went off of that." And probably stop watching and now you're commenting here because our opinion did not fulfill the opinion you wanted to hear. Yeah, <laughs> and, and, and instead you of even hearing us, us out. <laughs> and, and, and that's the problem with this is that you can be so reactionary as to go, okay, I just heard an opinion I don't like. I'm going to leave yeah, and I'm going to so voice. It's, yeah. it's stupid. It's, it's stupid. So, yeah. You know, it's like, does, does it affect me in the moment a hate comment? No, uh, I'd say like yeah, yeah sure. uh, a lot of time. Yeah, definitely. Like reading that uh, affected me. Because you um, always want people to like whatever you make. You, you know? always want people. You know, it's it's like that's why we do this too is for to get some views. <laughs> yeah, people like it. <laughs> I saw. Uh, I I did. I, uh, so hey, there's I mean, that comment. There's a guy said you yeah you did a review on Stardust and said you loved it. Oh my god! Isn't that it's on YouTube? <laughs> like. <laughs> You, they clearly don't watch the whole video. It's that's it, a stupid. That's a stupid thing. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, like I, I actually heard a Jim Carrey audio recently where, where he was saying your, your, your need for acceptance can often lead you to become invisible in this world. So it's this um. constant battle of, it's like you want to make sure you're being true to yourself. You want people to like you, but you don't want to strive for people to like it. It's just a weird fucking, like, it's like middle <laughs> ground that you just can never. And on the internet, you're like never you. going to. That's the bottom line. The internet, you're never going to achieve it. So might as well not try to. No. Yeah. <laughs> All you, the best you can hope for is that more people like you than they don't. You could literally rescue a baby from a burning building, and you will get someone to hate you for that. <laughs> You just did it for views. <laughs> yeah, that's some shit. Yeah, you know? think? <laughs> yeah, like, some fucking crazy. Genius of the year over here. <laughs> Figuring out the secret. Of the <sighs> anyway, uh, thanks, House Heisenberg. Saved you. You were the one of the first questions to come in, but we saved you for last, yeah, buddy. Man. First patron ever, House Heisenberg. First patron, last question of the year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Much love.